Cooler from a booty, booty again, I keep saying booty guru. Booty guru, Paula's the guru of booties. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you another episode in the Get Ready With Me Dust Collector series that I'm doing with Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It, who as always I'll have a link down below. So make sure you check her out. As you might remember, at the end of last year we were a bit unsure if we were going to continue on with this series in 2021. But we still have a few items that are collecting dust within our collections. So we made the decision to continue on. And an example of an item that is collecting dust in my collection is this NYX Sugar Trip Squad palette. You might have seen this palette recently in my Pan Those Eyeshadows because I am working on this pretty pink shade down here. Since introducing it to that project, I have only used this shade once. And before that, I'd never used it, and I have not touched a single one of these other shadows in this palette. I've had this palette for over 12 months. I would probably nearly even say, at this point, nearly two years, and yet I still have not touched it. So we are going to be working on our Sugar Trip palette today. I have already done my uh, moisturizer and my eye cream, so I were using these ones here. And as you could possibly tell, I've got a little bit of a new setup for my Get Ready With Me because my brother for Christmas um, gave me this flexible selfie ring light. So I've basically using this setup instead of pulling out my big ring light and the stand and all the other bits and bobs so hopefully this works I'm not sure how I feel about the color I feel like it's looking kind of yellow but I don't know if that's a trend in all my videos because my overhead light in my room is yellow so please let me know down in the comments what you think of the lighting of this video and even what you think of the lighting in my other videos constructive criticism is always um always appreciated let us get started so this setup leaves me my desk is here and i am facing this way instead of the normal where i put everything on my desk, have to move all my makeup and face this way. So let's let's see how this is going to going to go. But I am going to speed run through my my minimal base products and which majority of these are all in projects. Then we are going to get into the palette. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so that is my base makeup done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrooch you in a bit. Let's see how that goes. Welcome, welcome. Oh, it's a bit low. Let me see if I can just... That will probably just do the trick. And we are going to get started with the eyes. So like I said, I'm going to be using the Sugar Trip Squad Palette. These are the current shades that are in here. Hmm, what kind of shades do I think I should do? I'm thinking I really want to use these three. These are definitely the shades that kind of pulled me in to the palette. I also don't mind these couple over here. What I might do is I might use... Hmm. Let's start with maybe... Which one of these? Maybe this one looks more purple. This one's a bit too pink, I think. Let's start with that one. And we'll, we'll see how this goes. So I've got my fluffy brush here. And I'm going to start with this this purple up here the probably more blue purple and I'm going to put that one in my crease It's going to be an interesting day. Ah, okay, so let's, I guess, just kind of try to make it a bit more, it's a little bit patchy, but that could also be my eye primer. I might use this purple up here to kind of like smoke out the edges I guess is that is that kind of the term I'm looking for to add I get a bit of dimension to it yeah I think that's not too bad so far So as you might have seen if you're on my Instagram, uni has gone back for me here and it's a bit full on at the moment. Um, this topic's a bit, there's a lot, there's a lot. I've got an assignment due coming up shortly, so that's been a bit stressful. I think I've been a bit, I don't know. Last night I went to bed really early, like 8 o'clock before the sun. The sun at the moment, we're in daylight saving, so the sun isn't going down until about 9. And yeah, we I went to bed at 8 o'clock and I was asleep before the sun went down. So it's definitely, I guess I definitely have a been feeling a bit overexerted I guess but it's okay it's only a few weeks just before things start to kind of sort themselves out as such how's that looking that's not looking too bad this is super yellow like I'm trying to do it in my mirror and even with this light let me see if I move my light a little bit closer. Is that better? Because it's just been feeling... That might be a little bit better. But it seems super yellow. And super kind of almost hard to see. But then here, looking in my mirror, it looks really white. like, And everything's quite light and bright. So I'm a little bit... A bit unsure if this is working but it is what it is we'll continue along and go 
go from there. Okay. I think that will be enough for the purple. Maybe I need to add a bit of, a bit more blue up here. Well, bluey purple. It's still a type of purple, I would say. That seems a bit more blended over here than over here. This is seeming a bit blocky, which is what we don't want. Mm. Come on. Blend it out. Blend out. This corner, this eye, this bit here is always like my hard bit. I've gone like right up to my eyebrow with this, but... In for a penny, in for a pound, you know. There we go. Okay, that is enough. You need to stop with the purple. Okay, so the other two colours here are these two and this one that I'm wanting to play with. So what I'm thinking I might do is actually put the green and the pink on my upper, on my lid and use the blue along my lash line. So let's, um, I'm a bit unsure because I feel like this, let me actually swatch these two. So here is the green and pink. Yeah, the pink is quite, the green is pretty good actually, but the pink is quite light and shimmery. So what I might do there is, I reckon I'll put the green over my lid mostly and then use the pink more like in a, in a lid and in a lash line, in a lash line. In a corner that's the words I'm thinking so I'm going to use a little bit of this savvy um, eyeliner this is in white so I just use this to kind of I guess whiten up my lid and also create a bit of a sticky base I don't really love this eyeliner so it's just a way to kind of use through it in a useful productive manner so I've got my flat brush here we're going to start off with this bright green Let's see how this goes oh yeah that's not too bad That is quite good actually, quite bright. I will say these shades, um, they're a little bit powdery. These two here were quite powdery. And this one here was also like, I don't know if you can see that if I, on my hand, but can you see that? There was quite a bit of powder when I first swatched it that came up. So I will say that these shades are quite powdery. I will say this is um, also the main colour that attracted me to this palette because I am a fan of this shade of green. This would have to be my favourite shade of green. So when I say to someone that my favourite colour is green, this is the type of colour that I'm envisioning. But I have... Um, I never used to like dark greens when I was young, when you really like like the neon greens as I would call it, but I didn't really like the dark greens. But as I've got older, I mean, I liked khaki, which is really a sort of green, but other, other like moss greens or forest green, I didn't really like. But as I've got older, I definitely have grown in that taste. I will say, however, that I still, I'm mean, going back into that purple. I'm still not a fan of the, what I affectionately call puke green. I don't really like that kind of shade. I like khaki green, which I don't class khaki as 
pute green. I think pute green's normally like a bit more yellowy. I mean, really making paints for a wall and I'm gonna name a color pute green. <laughs> I'm just kind of blend out the edges of that green, soften it all up a bit. Probably go back in with that other pinky purple up the top here, just to kind of blend it all out together. I don't know if this is working <laughs> but I guess this is the point where you start questioning you know your whole existence when the colors look a bit odd I do have I don't know if you can see that but there is quite a lot of fallout so there's definitely a lot of glitter and even on top of the glitter this side more so this time is actually quite a lot of the tint of the green so let's see if I can just kind of let me grab a little bit of the my fixing powder. So this fixing powder, which I used earlier, is from Essence. This isn't a project, but this is actually the first time I've used it. So, yeah, that's not really working. I'm just kind of... I did push away kind of the colour of the green, but that glitter as glitter does it's kind of hanging on strong but you know a little bit of glitter i would say never hurt anyone but really it's probably not that great for the environment so it probably did hurt someone but anyway now i'm going to so i've done the green i'm going to add a little bit more of this savvy pencil in my inner corner I definitely like to add whites into the inner corner because I feel like it gives not only the color you're putting on the inner corner something to grab onto, but it kind of neutralizes, I guess, whatever color I've got underneath, like my skin color. Circles, I guess, that area kind of gets a bit dark in my tear duct area. So I think it kind of adds, you know, brightens it up a bit that I can stick colors on top of it and they don't look I don't know weird I guess so we're gonna jump in to that pink here put a little bit of it on my inner lid yeah this is really I've used this once this shade once before and um, I put it over the top of the pink, the other pink in my, um, pan those eyeshadows. And it is really light, like you almost can't tell it's there. That looks alright. not too bad the question is whether this blue is going to look really out of place with this look <sighs> part of me is leaning towards I should only use say these two also along my lash line and then part of me is just telling me to go the whole way and just chuck the blue on because I think pink, purple, and green look really good together. But is it going to look weird with the blue? Is that going to... I mean, it looks good like this. So why wouldn't it look good? And I guess you could always look at these as like the quads. I think that they kind of work. Um, let's just do it. What's the worst going to happen? It's just going to look weird. 
and I'm going to live and learn. So I've got here a kind of like pencil brush and I'm going to go in this blue here just a little bit. That is, can you see that sitting there? Look how powdery that is and I hardly even, that is super powdery. Can you see that? It is so hard to see but it's, it's just powdery, okay? You're just gonna have to trust me. Right now I'm going to go in with this kind of like really thin brush, like a liner brush. I'm kind of, I try to kind of darken up at the waterline. Doesn't look too bad. Then I'm going to go in with that liner brush again with the pink. Stuck my finger in a different colour. With the pink. And I'm kind of going to pull that into the blue. Which will also hopefully call, create like a slight purple. Pulling it all together. Okay. I actually don't mind that. Something a bit different. I reckon I might also chuck a little bit of this darker purpley colour just in the outer corner. Just a touch with my brush. Just let me wipe that blue off. Just a touch with my pencil brush. Like it's like a purpled brown. So I reckon I'll just, just two little taps and just kind of like, just a tiny. There we go, just a tiny bit. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my spray and I'm going to try using this Bias Hydrating Spritz. So you might have seen that I recently pulled this into a project in my um, deck the panning, deck of panning, sorry, deck of panning. This is new to my collection. I haven't used it. Well, it's, so it is kind of, I guess, dust collecting isn't, it hasn't been used yet. So let's try using this one. It is a hydrating mist, so I've never, I'm, I'm not sure if you meant to use them, but let's try. Oh, actually, before I do that, I forgot to put on some highlight. So let's grab my Revolution Ultra Cool palette. This one is is also in my deck of panning and out of all the colors here i think we might go with the green so my goal for this palette is to actually use all the colors five times so we'll stick the green on today i mean there was already green glitter on my face from doing my lids so Let's just add to it, why don't we? There we go. Does that look hard on there? Yep. We'll probably put a bit too much on just there. But that's okay, let's add a little bit more. More is more, as they say. 
Okay, so I'm going to use this setting spray or this hydrating spritz. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. I will say I don't mind this sprayer. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought it was going to have more of a, um, a smell. I thought, considering it's got the limes and the lemons and the oranges on the packaging, and it's a vitamin E facial mist, a vitamin C, sorry, facial mist, I kind of thought it would have a bit more of a orangey, citrusy smell. It doesn't really have a smell at all. It just kind of smells like you know, like maybe kind of all like, like micellar water, that kind of smell. So nothing too, too fancy there, but I will say I like this spritzer a lot better than I like this Insta Glow Fix spritzer, this bottle and this spray. This also hurts my eyes. This one did not hurt my eyes. So I like this one a lot better so far. If it actually manages to help my makeup in any way, I will say maybe it does make it look slightly less powdery but that is that is all I can really tell at this point anyway so next up we have got to do my eyeliner which I'm think today actually I'm going to use this cure cure me pencil this is in one of my projects maybe it's my 10 uses I think project 10 uses so we're gonna use this but I kind of figure the greens and the blues it should work I mean I know it's more of a emerald green but I don't think that looks too bad then we will stick on some lipstick I think so I think I'm going to stick this one on which is this is Death Valley um, by Revlon. So we're going to use this. I adore the smell of these. Oh, like, they kind of smell like either... Maybe it's like cake frosting. That's probably what they smell like. Maybe, and also, I thought they could smell like the... You know, in Neapolitan, the um, ice cream, the pink, pink vanilla and chocolate. I think it smells like the pink, the straw berry. Because it's not like super vanilla-y. But it's like super sweet. Oh, so good. Okay. Oh, so good. Just got to give it. Okay, and last but not least, we are going to chuck on some mascara. So I'm still working on my Kat Von D um, or KVD Go Big or Go Home mascara. Hopefully this will be coming to an end shortly. mind this mascara I think it does an okay job but to be honest with you I wouldn't be paying the kind of money that this costs in its you know full size when it's not in special and it's not in a kit and it's not you know all those things when it's in its actual original state to say um they're quite expensive and I don't really see the point because like the essence um essence mascaras seem to be just as good so and a lot lot cheaper okay so I think hopefully that will kind of... There we go. Alrighty, so let's kind of 
I'll finish doing my hair, drop me fringe down and we'll be back to finish this up. And we're back. So this is my get ready with me look today using the Sugar Trip Squad palette by NYX. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this look and maybe even what palette you would like to see next from my collection once my inventory goes up in the next next couple weeks. Okay, so let's probably end that here. Make sure if you haven't already that you go and check out Paula's video and I will see you in the next one. So I'm Verity, that was another episode in the Get Ready With Me Dust Collector series I'm doing with Paula from a beauty guru made me do it and now to the outro. Mm -hmm.